Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative, and today I'm going to show you how to create anchor links in Squarespace. Sometimes also called jump to links, jumping links, in page links, page section links. Basically, they're just those links that you click on and they scroll you down to a different section on the same page. In this tutorial, I have one option for Squarespace 7.0 using index pages another option for Squarespace 7.1 using page sections, and there's a third and final option that will work really well on 7.0 and 7.1. So really there's something here for everyone. Okay, let's dive in. So this is an example of some anchor links in our unearth template for Squarespace 7.0. And you can see here that we have a variety of sections on this page. And if you click on these links here, it will take you to the corresponding section. And then I also have another example here on our bigcatcreative.com website on our template showcase page. We have a bunch of different template showcases and we try to make it as easy as possible to zoom through them by this filter drop down we have. And if you click on it, it will take you all the way to the template that you want to see. And then, of course, because the page is so long, we also have a back to top, which is essentially the same thing, just going the other way. Okay, so this is the option for Squarespace 7.0 if you're using index pages. If you're using 7.1, feel free to just skip over this because it will be of absolute no use to you. If you are using 7.0, this is only going to work for you if you're using index pages. So when you add a page, you can either add a blank page or you can add some different sorts of collections, including an index page. If you're not really sure what that is, feel free to just skip down to the third option, which is just a really basic coding option for blank pages. I know that a lot of people that use Squarespace 7.0 use index pages, but also some of the templates on Squarespace 7.0 don't even have index pages. So if that's you, then this will also be useless. So feel free to skip down to that very last option, which will work on both versions on any page. So if you're watching this, you must be using 7.0 and an index page. And you'll know that index pages are made up of a bunch of blank pages. So index pages are really easy to use for this technique because they all have their own URL. And then you can basically just link to that URL and it will take you to the page section. I'm just using a demo template right now, so excuse the demo pages. But let's say I wanted to put a button on this first section in the welcome area and I want it to go down to the ingredients section. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to find the URL for the ingredients section. And to do that, I'm just going to click on this cog here, which opens up the page settings, and then scroll down to where it says URL slug. Copy this. In this case, this one just says ingredients, but yours obviously will be something different. Then in the welcome area, I'm just going to click edit. So you can add anything that can be linked here. So I could add some text and add a link to it like this with a little link button, or I could add a button. You could even add an image or anything that can possibly have a link added to it. It will work with. So for now, let's just link this text here. So just add a link by pressing the link button. Then you're going to paste that URL slug in and at the front of it, you're just going to want to put a hash just the hash symbol. So that is exactly what you need. Click apply, save, and I'll test it out. It might not work. So it often doesn't work when you first put it in. Either you have to refresh it or sometimes it has some trouble working while you're in the editor, but I'll just refresh and have a look. Okay, so I'll click it now and it works perfectly. So if it isn't working the second time, try to open your website out of the editor rather than in the editor because sometimes it has some trouble working inside the editor, but usually it just needs a refresh and then it works fine. So it's as simple as that. Basically, you just need to find the URL slug of the section you want to link to, add it to whatever link you want, and just remember to put that hash in front of it and it should work perfectly. Okay, now we're moving on to Squarespace 7.1. 
So this method works very similarly to the method we just used for Squarespace 7.0, but instead of using index pages, we just use the built-in page sections that Squarespace 7.1 has. Squarespace 7.1 a little bit, you'll probably know that each page is made up of different sections. So when you open a page, you'll see that it's made up with all these different sections, and you can add and remove sections and move them around. It's basically just a really streamlined way to create the old school index page that Squarespace 7.0 used to have. It's really easy to use and you can use these sections to create anchor links. So for example, if I wanted this button at the top here to just scroll down the page and link to this subscribe block down here, we can do that. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So to do that, we need to find the special ID of the page section. So each page section, like this section and this section, this section, they all have unique IDs which are built into the code of Squarespace. So it's not something that you can actually see or look for on the site without a special tool. So I highly recommend you download this tool that I'm about to show you because if you use Squarespace 7.1 and you plan on doing any sort of coding or even just really minor CSS tweaks, this is going to save you a ton of time. So it's called the Squarespace ID Finder and it's a Chrome plugin. So you need to be using Google Chrome. You should really be using Google Chrome anyway in Squarespace because that's what Squarespace recommends to edit your site. If you're using anything else like Safari or Firefox or Internet Explorer, you will probably run into some problems in the editor. It is definitely best to be using Google Chrome when you're working with Squarespace. So I will link this extension down below and in the blog post that goes with this video. Otherwise, you can actually just Google Squarespace ID Finder Chrome plugin and it's the first one that pops up. So just go to this page, click download, which is probably somewhere over here, and add it to your Chrome. Once you've added it, you'll see it pop up in your extensions. So it'll look like this, this little square. And then you can pop back over to your website. And when you click on the extension, a whole bunch of numbers show up. So this is basically showing us all the different IDs for all the elements around the site. So this makes our job way easier. As you can see, each section has an ID. So it says section, data section ID, and then there's a number. So every single section will have its own unique ID. So if we wanted to do what we were talking about before and link this button down to this section here, what we need to do is we need to copy this ID and you can copy it by just clicking on it and then it will copy to your clipboard. Then the next step, the easiest way to do it is probably just to open up a blank document and paste in your section ID. We're going to use this in the link, but we need to edit it slightly and it's just a little bit easier to edit it in a blank document. So what we need to do to this is we need to copy the number and once the number is copied, we can pretty much just remove the whole thing. Then you want to type in hash symbol page dash section dash and then paste in the number. So you should have hash page dash section dash and then the number for your unique section ID. So we're going to copy that and scroll up to the top where we wanted to put our link. So you can add this link to anywhere that can take a link. So a button, an image, you can link it to any sort of text with a little link button. So anything that can be linked, you can use this technique. We'll just use this button because it's already here. So I'm just going to double click on the button. And then where it says click through URL, we're going to paste our link. So it's hash page dash section dash your unique number and click apply. Then remember to click save in the top left. So now when you click this button, it will take you straight to that section of the page, which is exactly what we want. It sometimes doesn't work very well in the editor, just like the last one. Usually in the editor, it'll only let you click it once and then it won't work again after that. But if you go look at the live site and test it out, it should be working fine. Now, the one thing you probably noticed with this one, especially compared to the last 7.0 one, if you watch that, is that it goes really quickly to the section and it doesn't scroll nicely. 
So I recommend you enter in this little piece of code into your design custom CSS. It's just HTML, open bracket, scroll behavior, smooth with the important tag and a closed bracket. I'll put it in the blog post and under the video, but you can pretty much just copy it from there if you want to. So if you click save and I'll refresh the page and click it now and you can see that it scrolls a lot more nicely down rather than just jumping straight down really quickly and violently. <laughs> so that's it for 7.1. The next tutorial is if you don't want to use the page sections, it's a simple coded version. You can use it in 7.0 and 7.1. For this version, you won't have to use the section IDs, so you might find it a little bit easier. They're both relatively of equal difficulty, I would say. So it just comes down to personal preference, but I'm just going to show you another option for doing it. Okay, so like I just said, we're just going to be using a basic bit of coding for this version instead of using the actual structure of the site for the links. And this works on 7.0 and 7.1 and pretty much any website you ever work on, this will probably work. So first you'll want to choose where you want your link to go to. So let's use this subscribe area again, just for an example. And in this section, I'm going to add a code block. So just add a block, press code, and then I'm going to add in a little piece of code. So it's just a basic div ID, and then you can change this your ID here to whatever you want. I recommend just making sure that this is unique and there's no other div IDs around the site that it could get mixed up with. So try to be quite specific with it and it will help you keep things organized too. I might call this homepage subscribe. So then I recommend you highlight and copy your unique ID, click apply, and you'll see something like this. So basically just a blank code block. So we're gonna just scroll to the top and we're going to use a very similar technique to what we've been using. Obviously we just put an ID name into that code block we just added. So now we can update our link with a hash, so just remember to put the hash, and then our new ID, which is homepage-subscribe. Click apply, save. And then when you click the button, it'll go down right to where the blank code block is. Awesome, so that is the three different ways to make those jumping anchor links in Squarespace. There's pretty much something for everyone there, so hopefully you learned a good technique to use on your website. If you have any better techniques or any questions, please feel free to drop them down below, and thanks for watching.